What's up guys, how you doing? Hope you had a great week. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Philip Scrubber, and it would be really cool if you helped me, you know. I've got like 60 subscribers to a thousand, then I can open up community, it's gonna be awesome. Please subscribe, it's gonna help me out. Today we're talking about the Spiffy um, Lumi bracelet. Now, it's pretty cool, because you can do this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> that, come on. It's like the switch pod. I was writing them today and I was saying this this is like the switch pod. It's awesome. Using it looks cool. Um, and you can go to a rave or whatever you people do at night. So we have a bicolor one and we have an RGB one. Now the bicolor um, and the RGB both come in at $45. Um, bicolor is 2700 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin. And um, this RGB one has about 15 colors, three primary colors and 12 secondary colors. And that's about it. That's the end of the film. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, so what do you get in the box? You get a couple of metal 3M stickies right there. You get a little instruction manual. Boom. And you get a USB to micro USB charging cable. Um, and that's that's actually all you get in a box. Now, I've been testing these, these lights for a couple of weeks and I've come to really, really love them. I've obviously tested the um, duration of the battery in both of them. And Spiffy says they lost about an hour. Um, they're, they're big, big liars. They actually lost two hours, um, both of them. Actually, the RGB, the red, lasts three hours, whereas the rest of them, so for example, the blue and the green, which are really bright, they last two hours. So twice as long as Spiffy says. So the build quality of this light is fantastic. It's awesome. Um, if you guys can see how, how low profile it is, it really is tiny. Um, it's flat on the back. It's um, got the actual light strip here. It's got a hole here battery compartment here and the control panel there and at the very bottom if you guys can see that I don't know if I can you've got the micro USB um, socket so the hole is no doubt for putting in a carabiner so you can literally attach it to any object you wish now if that's not enough you know the other cool features of this light are that you can actually use it as a party bracelet it goes on really easy let me show you that again just because it's fun Boom. Wait, did, did you, did you, did you, you didn't see that, did you? Boom. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on your hand. Um, it's fun. It, it was really fun. You can do that all day, actually. And you just, to get it back, you just literally just straighten it out. And boom, it's, it's back to how it is. They say to store it in this position if you are storing it. Um, apart from being an awesome party bracelet, you can actually use this as a, um, a magnetic light so anywhere you have like a piece of metal you can just attach it and you now have like a, a mounted light on any metal object so um, that's where these guys come in the um, 3m metal stickies um, you literally just stick them onto anything and it becomes magnetic so you can use it there um, so I mean we all love magnets we all love magnets every single content creator love magnets if you don't I don't trust you um, and it weighs 45 grams, so I mean, it, it, literally, you can just, just stick it onto anything, or you can just do that. <laughs> so using these lights is actually really super, super simple. Um, you can't go wrong. And believe it or not, um, they actually do have some pretty cool features, um, which are easily accessible. Now, I'm just going to show you how to use them quickly, just in case you have absolutely no idea, but it is simple. And they're pretty damn bright, too, so just, you know sunglasses or ND filters taped to your eyes, something like that. Now, if you press this button right here once, it will turn it on. If you press it a second time, it will make it brighter, so that's 50%, 75%, 100%, and back down to 25. So it kind of turns on at 25, and then goes to 50 to 100. So that is what the first switch does. Now, if you press this first switch again for two seconds, one, two, it turns it off. So you know what the first switch does. Press it on and it's on. Let's make it nice and bright for you guys to see. Now, if you press the second switch right here, the second switch is gonna change the um, color temperature. So we've got 2700, 3000, 
3,200, 3,800, 4,200, 4,800, 5,600, and 6,000. And the third button right here is like a preset. So say we go and turn it off, we turn it on, and we really quickly want to go, um, let's get it nice and bright for you guys, we really quickly want to go to daylight. Press it, and that is daylight. So right there, um, we're on daylight. It's matched to my lamp, it looks really cool. Let's get back to this light. Um, so the third button, if you press and hold it, we go into effects. Now, it's pretty simple, you have breathing, and if you press it again, it goes through the effects. So at the moment it's breathing. Um, then we have candle. Explosion. Red carpet. Oh no, no photos, no, no, stop, stop. And stroboscopic, I'll turn it off just in case anybody's, um, you know. But, um, and if we press it again for two seconds, we're back to normal programming. Now let's go back to it and let's go to candle and just to show you. That's the candle. It's, um, it's pretty nice. So like I said, these buttons are really, really simple to use and there's only three of them. And neither of these lights have on off memory. So when you turn it off and you turn it back on, it's going to go to 25% at 2700 kelvins. Um, is that bad or is it good? I think it's actually good because as there's no screen, I have absolutely no idea what um, option feature mode it's on. So it going back to 25% at 2700 kelvin and allowing me to go through all the menus um, is perfect. So for the RGB light, it's pretty similar. If we press this button once, it's on. If you press it again, 50, 75, 100%. We depress it for two seconds and it turns off, we're off. So if we press it again, we go up to 100%. If we press this button, we're gonna um, cycle through the primary colors. So this is not RGB, it's RBG. So at the moment, we have red and it goes to blue and it goes to green. Um, now, if we press the third button, we can actually cycle through the secondary colors right there. So we'll press the middle button again and we cycle through secondary colors. Middle again and we cycle through secondary colors. Now, if we press and hold the third button once again, you're going to go into special effects. Now, special effects here are going to be breathing, police, Fire, TV, which I always love, and fireworks. Now, just with the bicolor light, pressing and holding it again, goes back into your normal menu, right there. Um, like I said, the lights do not have on-off memory, so if we're on blue and we turn it off, it's going to go back to red. Now, these lights aren't super, super bright, um, but they really do the, the job. So, for example, if I turn off the main lamp right here, all I have is my little lamp at the bottom. This is at 25%. Now, 100% is right there. Now, you'd have to have it pretty close to make any difference, but it's really cool as a, a creative light, as a light that you have in your bag. I mean, it's tiny. You can take it anywhere with you. Um, you can have it as like a creative light to, you know, like I said, if you have a piece of metal. Actually, let me show you a few examples.
So how cool is that, huh? I mean, you can literally put these guys anywhere um, and you can make some really, you know, funky colors of them and do some really interesting um, lighting effects. So, I mean, I'm really, really happy with these lights and um, I can very, very honestly recommend them to anybody who's looking for a tiny light that's magnetic, that has a little bit of a punch and um, you can literally just stick it anywhere. I mean, even if you have some chewing gum, you might be able to attach it. <laughs> um, so, that's that for today. Oh! Almost forgot, almost forgot. One quick thing. Let's just check the lux of this thing. Right, turned off the lights and all that is working right now is this guy. It's pretty cool. Huh? Um, he is at 100% at daylight. So my wall is exactly one meter away from the edge of my desk. So right on the edge and right, that level, that level, boom. So once again, um, right there, is it visible? Well, it should be. 21 lux. Um, so they say 20, my light meaning to us is 21. So it's, it's more or less correct, right? It's, it's not packing a huge punch, but like I said, as a cool light that um, you can use as a funky, creative light, then absolutely awesome. If you guys have any questions at all about these two funky rave cinematic party lights, then you pop them in the comments below. Um, 60 people, 60 of you guys, not, I know there are 60 of you out there. <laughs> Just help me hit that thousand. And I'm um, gonna catch you on the next one, which is probably gonna be the um, Mavic Mini full review. I've had it for over a month now. Over a month? I think so. And I've had a lot of experience with it and I can do a full review telling you exactly what I think of it. So yeah, for today that's it. So using... So using this light...